Now I'm going to show you the final stage of the wax. This is the beeswax. Remember we did this outside. It's the first initial cleaning. Now, and we're going to do the final cleaning of the wax. What I have here is an old um, hot water bath canning pot and I'm using it for wax now. I also have inside it about an inch of water and I'm going to add this block of wax. And I'm going to turn it on high. And when you have wax on, do not leave the room. You can do other things in the room, but always be aware you have wax on. And now we're just going to let the water come to temp. We have a bamboo stick here. We'll stir it as it melts. And now we'll just let it melt. It's almost melted. There's just a little piece left in there. Okay, now we're going to get the next step ready. So this is the next step. I have these filters and they are sold as um, filters to strain out the oil in a deep fryer. And I turn it inside out because it stays better in the holder. <laughs> and then I have this holder here. And I'm going to place the filter inside. But also what I do is I have these clips and I clip the filter to the metal holder just to keep it from um, collapsing when I'm pouring the hot wax in. Okay, now let's put it on the bucket. I have this pail, and there's a bit of water in there, about two inches. And then you take your filter holder and you place it on there. Then I take the bigger clip and I actually clip the filter holder to the pail because I've had it slip in there before and now we'll pour the wax in there. Here's the wax and I just take this bamboo skewer and run it through the wax making sure it's all melted. And it is. So it's ready to pour. here's the wax. We took the filter off, sat overnight, and now I'm simply going to dump it out. And I like to do it outside because I hate having a mess inside and I don't want beeswax to go down the drain. Just kind of make sure it's loose and it should just come right out. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I'll show you. So that is the finished wax. Now I'm going to set it up to dry and then when it dries there will be just a slight browning but again I'll just take my knife and scrape it. It's a little hard when it's wet. I'll just scrape it clean when it dries. You get the idea. There you go. Beautiful piece of wax. I'm going to say this weighs 
probably three pounds. Yep. Beeswax. A valuable resource. Remember, use what you have, do what you can.